what's going on everybody so we are currently in Denver Colorado on a Wednesday morning and uh, I was supposed to pick up a load early this morning and when I say early I mean like 1 a.m. 2 a.m. Uh, over in uh, Aurora Colorado and I was taking a load of water all the way down to uh, what is the thing called Gypsum Colorado okay, I'll never remember that but yeah it's supposed to go down to Gypsum Colorado which is about 150 miles uh, west <clears throat> on the I-70 and it just so happened that overnight a storm slash blizzard was developing and it was gonna hit at about I want to say two o'clock three o'clock according to the to the weather and um, so I, I I couldn't make the delivery I, I I made the decision to say hey you know what it's not gonna be safe because it, it, it's it's there's a couple mountain passes and they were saying that we were supposed to uh, require to chain up so I don't know it, it, I just I, it didn't seem like a very safe trip to me especially overnight well it was, I think it was like 15 degrees and it was starting to snow it just it, it didn't seem like a very safe trip so I said no I'm not gonna do it we said well, they're not gonna they, they were pretty cool about it they sent me a, a message back this morning saying that okay you know we'll just deliver tomorrow so so that's pretty cool you know they're they're, all, they're pretty big on safety which I really like about this company um, well yeah in case you want to see what it's like outside let me show you yay it's snowing So this is the most snow I've ever been in myself. Uh, I'm a city boy in California, so it doesn't get like this out there. Oh, uh, can't see through the windshield. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, I can't even. It's 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 got to be a few inches thick. I, I can't even use the, the the windshield wipers to knock it off. It's I don't know. It's it's pretty bad. So yeah, it, like I said, safety first with the company, so we don't have to go and deal with any of this crap out there. See, it's nice. So yeah, my load delivers tomorrow. Like I said, luckily they're they're pretty cool on safety. So they actually sent a bunch of messages on the, on the Qualcomm on the computer, uh, saying that uh, you know there's a lot of road shutdowns and they're they're telling their their drivers to actually not to drive to stay put in their trucks until it passes. So most likely I'll be here till the end of the day. I'm gonna see if I can leave about midday, so I can pick up the load and at least arrive down to Gypsum and because uh, I'm going to a Costco. There, there should there's supposed to be parking. Oh, that the Costco. So I'm gonna see if I can leave midday, do my three-hour trip, and and park overnight. That way, as soon as it hits 3 a.m. excuse me, 7 7 o'clock, I can just go over there, and not have to wake up so early, you know, like I did this morning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go hang out in the driver lounge, and I guess just not be cooped up in the truck all day. You know, I mean, there's there's not much you can do. I mean, it's 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 not some luxurious hotel that you're sitting in here you know it's it's a freaking truck with a bed so i mean yeah it's got heater and air conditioning when you need it but realistically yeah, it's just you get cooped up after a while especially if you spend the entire day here so i'm gonna go hang on the driver's lounge maybe talk to some of the drivers get some info pick their brain a little bit and um yeah i actually i'm gonna i packed a uh, little survival kit i'm gonna take with me let's see here So, this is what I'm going to bring with me because I don't know how long I'm going to be over there and I don't want to come back out to my truck. So, taking some water, Tupperware to make all this stuff. Oh, I got some chicken. Uh, yeah, some chicken and some tuna and some rice. Jesse, thank you for the rice. That's the best stuff on the planet. And, and maybe some of that. Uh, also got some mac and cheese and some oatmeal, which I'm probably going to eat this morning i hate oatmeal and i i don't know i'm, I'm gonna try it again though I'll, I'll give it a shot uh got some wheat thins and some girl scout cookies that they conned me into buying outside the walmart the other day so yep that's what i'm gonna do and 
I haven't showed you guys the inside of my truck, have I? So that's where I keep some of my stuff. That just doesn't usually go there. Oh, man. So, yeah, that's where I put my microwave. Strap it in so it doesn't fall out. Got this thing to organize my clothes so I can maximize my space. Ugh. Got some stuff in there. Honey bunch of oats. Uh, so I keep all my cans, my bread. I need more bread. Uh, my miscellaneous stuff, vitamins, all that good stuff, Q-tips, Kleenex, and I guess uh, some of the protein when I work out, uh, and just some extra clothes, just extra stuff. Um, so yeah, that's it, I guess. Uh, we're here in Colorado, and we'll be here all day. So hope you guys are having a good day. See ya.